Good day, sir, and good day, classmates. We are now in our lesson 18, and we are going to discuss the rules and functions of an educational media center. So this is Edgar Dale. We all know that he is the man behind the cone of experience or the learning pyramid. He was an American educator. Edgar Dale made several contributions to audio and visual instructions. He said that the best ideas in the world are to be found in a modern library, that the modern educational media center must include excellence in varied media, not just in printed materials. He is telling us that for us to be able to have a more efficient and effective learning experience or a more quality education, we must have an educational media center that caters or supports the learning experience. Sabi nga natin, the learning experience must be meaningful. The best sources or resources are not limited to the library with its modern and updated printed materials, but education can also be acquired by non-printed means. Libraries are a good place to learn, but one learns best with the means that the Educational Media Center provides. So let me elaborate. When we say varied media, it comes in a different format, whether printed or non-printed. When we say printed materials, the examples are books, magazines, newsletters, journals, workbooks, and references. It consists of all written materials. When we say non-printed materials, it involves computers, graphics, television, radio production, internet, videotapes, printer, photocopying machine, musical instruments, laboratory materials, and so on. Obviously, those not in written form. But what is Educational Media Center? It is a facility designed for the housing and utilization of all educational media within the school. It is more than a collection of instructional materials because it incorporates a systematic plan or program in the proper use and delivery of effective instruction. This is an example of an educational media center. As you can see, the materials and equipment are properly placed and organized. Just like any other agencies or institutions, the AMC, of course, has its own mission and vision. Why? Because without your vision and mission, we cannot strategize development effectively. And of course, the goals and objectives cannot effectively identify. First and foremost, what is your vision? What is your mission? So, the mission of EMC will be discussed by Mr. Reynald Baldonado, to elaborate it more since this is also part of the rule of EMC. For the meantime, let us proceed to the services of EMC. First is the orientation. So of course, we must know how to use and properly utilize such materials, especially the equipment. But not only that, the rules and regulations as well. That's why we have our orientation. Hands-on training and the use of the different equipment is part of the new teacher's program. The students are also given an orientation on their first media instruction program class. Number 2. Selection of print and non-print materials During the selection process of the learning materials, the management invites a representative from the group of teachers and middle supervisors to be part of the planning and development. Why is it important that the teachers are involved in the selection process? Kasi nga, we are the beneficiaries. We directly encounter what are the lacking materials during the process and what are the needs of our students. Number 3. Organization of print and non-print materials. It is better to organize everything to avoid any conflict when finding materials. There is a computerized system to facilitate the organization and retrieval procedures. Merong SOP or Standard Operational Procedure, so very hassle-free when finding the materials. Number 4. The Circulation of Print and Non-Print Materials Hindi lang sa loob ng center pwedeng gamitin ng materials. They also lend it to students and teachers to maximize the use of resources. So sabi nga, the more materials used by the teachers and students, 
to better and effective the learning. Number 5. References The EMC attends to requests such as bibliographic information from the card catalog, search through books, periodicals, pamphlets, documents, and non-print materials. When we say bibliography, it is a list of work of a specific author, for example, writings relating to Latin American history. So obviously, there is a support manpower inside the center that will assist you. Number 6. Bibliographic Service Inventories of materials and periodic articles are provided which also highlights the new instructional materials for the information of teachers and students. Imagine, if you are a teacher and you have a support mechanism like this, the learning experience is more exciting and more effective. Since you are going to integrate in your lesson plan the tools or materials as provided by the EMC. Number 7. The Media Instruction Program They have a program to support and teach the student to be skillful in the use of print and non-print media. This program aims to develop their independent thinking ability from the habit of inquiry, how you are capable to decide what materials you are going to use and how to use it. You learn to select and help yourself upgrade. Number 8. The Class Supervised Research This is the actual research performed by a student in the allotted time given by the teachers. So in this context, they are given the privilege or time to research on their own with the guide of the teacher. It has a fixed schedule and everyone in the class will participate in the research while the teacher facilitates. So at the same time, your ability to do our research will be developed aside from being knowledgeable in the use of computers and internet as source of information. Number 9. Grade Level Newspaper it is a service rendered to ensure that the faculty is updated daily on current events locally and internationally. Each grade level is given a subscription. Number 10. The Mags on Wheels This helps the students to be updated in the information of all subject areas. It is an access to a large and varied journal collection like for example economics, literature, politics, and so on. Number 11. The Photocopying Service A self-service photocopying machine is available for the faculty to Xerox materials needed. Students may also request photocopying of library materials. A corresponding amount is charged. Number 12. The Video and Sound Production there is a centralized production of class instructions, programs, and school presentations. This is in fact a great help for our teachers and faculties. Number 13. The Multimedia Services It focused on the non-printed materials. To maximize the use of these, kailangan i-encourage ang mga teachers na gamitin ito. That's why the Multimedia Center aims to develop a multimedia services that is teacher-friendly. So that's the end of my report. Mr. Reynald Baldonado will continue the reporting with regard to the rule and elements of a functional EMC. Thank you for listening.